Welcome to Declassifying the Paranormal. Here we reveal the secrets that sinister organizations attempt to conceal from the world, objects and entities that could shake the very foundations of what we think is, and is not, possible. Today we have secured documents belonging to the SCP Foundation, and will reveal to you the nature of SCP-3081. Item Number SCP-3081 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures The mouth of the access road leading to SCP-3081 has been camouflaged via standard Foundation forestry protocols. SCP-3081 should be checked routinely, and any notable changes documented. Civilians discovered accessing SCP-3081 are to be interrogated, amnesticized and released. Description SCP-3081 is an irregularly shaped extra-dimensional space, dimensions 915 meters by 610 meters by 305 meters by 259 meters, accessible via a dirt road in unincorporated Perkins County, South Dakota, USA. The exterior of SCP-3081 appears to be a grove of mixed deciduous trees smaller than the internal dimensions. Within, SCP-3081 is a grassy plain surrounded by thick forest similar in species to that of the outer area. Weather patterns inside SCP-3081 do not match those of the surrounding area, tending toward fair, with only intermittent light rainfall observed. Items such as tin pails and wooden stools have been found within SCP-3081 on occasion. SCP-3081 also contains nine instances of SCP-3081-1. SCP-3081-1 are large, average height 1.4 meters, organisms resembling human hands. SCP-3081-1 locomote using the thumb and index, ring and little fingers, while the middle finger acts as a head. SCP-3081-1 lack fingerprints. Genetic analysis of sampled material has revealed a 75% match to human DNA, with the remainder unknown. All instances bear skin depigmentation consistent with vitiligo. Emerging from the back of each instance is a proportionally sized human arm that extends into the tree line. Attempts to find further anatomical features, such as joints past the wrist, have been hampered by the thickness of the surrounding forest and the skittish nature of SCP-3081-1. It is unknown whether the arms have a terminus. The behavior of SCP-3081-1 is similar to that of common cattle. They display herd behavior, and are generally docile and less disturbed. Though SCP-3081-1 lack mouth parts, the typical behavior pattern involves brushing the tip of the middle digit across the surface of the grass. No plant material is excised during this process. It is not known if this behavior is necessary for the survival of SCP-3081-1. The SCP-3081-1 herd currently numbers four left hands and five right hands. Addendum 3081-01 on 4 August 2005, it was noted during a routine entry into SCP-3081 that SCP-3081-1 R5 had formed itself into an OK gesture, while SCP-3081-1 liter minus 2 repeatedly inserted and removed its thumb from the O. This action continued for the full length of time personnel were present in SCP-3081. 1 hour, 25 minutes. Addendum 3081-02 On the 22nd of May 2006, two new instances of SCP-3081-1 were noted. Both were right hands, considerably smaller than all previous instances. SCP-3081-1 R7 was malformed, possessing only a thumb, index and middle finger. Though SCP-3081-1 R6 was noted to maintain close proximity to SCP-3081-1 R5 at all times, SCP-3081-1 R7 was unable to move from where it lay. 
As other instances of SCP-3081-1 maintain distance from SCP-3081-1 R7, it was decided to harvest the instance for study. Initial attempts were hampered by aggression from SCP-3081-1 liter instances, the only time aggression has been noted in SCP-3081-1, but on 5 June 2006, SCP-3081-1 R7 had ceased all motion, and personnel were able to complete the harvesting procedure without interference. The arm of SCP-3081-1 R7 was severed one meter above the wrist. Personnel reported hearing a low moan as the arm receded into the tree line. No pursuit attempt was made. Since August of 2006, 18 more new instances of SCP-3081-1 have been discovered, at a rate of 1-2 every nine months. All but one have had some form of major physical abnormality, rendering them incapable of survival past a few weeks. Harvest and vivisection of these instances has fueled the Foundation's understanding of SCP-3081-1 physiology. Addendum 3081-03 On 15 November 2015, during a routine examination of SCP-3081, no instances of SCP-3081-1 could be located inside the anomaly. Drops of a viscous fluid were found in the central area of the clearing. The fluid was later identified as a slurry of skin, muscle tissue and bone, with a 74% match to human DNA. The drops were noted to describe a square, approximately 90 meters to a side. Monitoring of SCP-3081 is to continue at a reduced rate, to prevent civilian access. Addendum 3081-04 On a slash a slash a a foundation agent discovered skin cream products marketed by soft hands at a Publix in Orlando, Florida. All products were seized and placed in storage. Analysis of the products reveals a composition of approximately 35% human muscle tissue. In an interview, the store manager claimed to have been contacted by a sales representative, and after agreeing to carry the products, a pallet of skin cream was included in their usual shipment of cosmetics. Attempts to trace the origin of the shipment have so far been unsuccessful. The product label is reproduced below. S-O-F-T-H-A-N-D-S registered. Hand milk. Hand and skin cream lotion. Enjoy this limited time run of soft hands hand milk hand and skin cream and lotion. Rub soft hands hand milk hand and skin cream and lotion upon your hands and skin and hands daily to get soft hands, super soft feeling hands copyright. Made from all natural, organic products, with no animal testing. From our heads to your hands. Please take care of your hands. They're the only hands you'll get. Thank you for tuning in. We hope that you enjoyed this broadcast. If you did please subscribe, like and share it around. If you have any particular case files you'd like us to cover in future broadcasts leave a comment below and we'll get around to it shortly. Tune in again tomorrow for more revelations.